There's a fish. There's a fish. That's a good one, too. <laughs> All right. About time. All right, let's get the old plant. Just a little bit more. Thank you, Liam. There he is. Hi, my name is Jerry. I'm a twin troller, boat owner, and I'm a lifelong fisherman. And welcome to Lunker Fishing. If you are interested, right below this video, click on Show More, and you will see links to most of the items used in many of my videos. Well, where are we today? We're on a lake. Uh, it's predicted to be 5 to 10 mile an hour winds. <laughs> I got here before dawn. It's well over 5 miles an hour now. Uh, it's probably over 10. This lake runs north-south, and so there's nothing to slow it down when the wind is coming out of either the south or the north. I'm on the south end of the lake, and the wind is running out of the north. And so it's running right down this lake, and uh, nothing to slow it down. So it's picking up, and my guess is later in the day it might get even worse, but that's okay. We're going fishing. We're going into the fall, kind of. Earlier this week, it was uh, 95 one day, 91 the next day. We're starting to get days that are in the 80s and the humidity is starting to drop. The dew point is in the 60s. It's much more comfortable than when the dew point is in the 70s. That's when you really feel the humidity. But let's go fishing, see what happens. It is late May or early summer in central Florida. Fish are starting to lead the shallows and relating more to open water. All right, we're going fishing today. Uh, it's supposed to be 91 today. Very sunny all day. And we'll see how long I can stay out. Under the bridge, <laughs> and there's lots of bait in here. But this is the only fish I got so far. There's one finally. <laughs> oh boy, it's a big one, too. <laughs> Brought an eel grass with it. Well, finally we got halfway decent fish anyway. Fifteen and a half. Well, I got some fish. Uh, again, nothing huge. I keep coming to this lake because it's known for having big bass. Um, but everybody I see that catches fish here is usually catching it with live bait, uh, the larger fish anyway, for the most part. So I'm gonna keep plugging. Well, it's upper 80s. It's uh, almost two o'clock. I think it's time to go home, get out of the sun. It's really hot today. Thanks for watching my channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a nice day. Bye now. It is the second week in June. Good morning and welcome to Lunker Fishing. My name's Jerry. I'm a twin troller boat owner and a lifelong fisherman. Well, we're going fishing this morning and today's going to be a hot one. 
90s, very sunny all day, low wind, but we're going anyway. So follow me. Come on along, see what happens. I don't know if you can see that. See the little gator? He's probably 12 <laughs> inches long, so he's just about a year old. Here he comes, he's coming after my lure. <laughs> oh, why are you here? Why are you dumb enough to come right up to me? <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. Thought I'd try these first. It's 81.21 degrees water temperature. It's sunny in the horizon. Not a cloud of any substance in the, in the sky. It's going to be sunny. Now this is a, a Zoom Magnum Speedworm and it's rigged to uh, kind of run like a uh, buzzbait. And this works pretty well and stays weedless unlike a regular buzzbait. So I'm going to throw it in here. Let's go back to the whopper plopper on the outside edge. It's got treble hooks on it, so you can't really throw it in there. <laughs> that wouldn't work well. And I'm hoping maybe there's some fish on the edge here. I'm going to throw this whopper plopper down the weed line. I moved over to another lake by a little canal. I'm now in Coon Lake and I'm throwing a five inch green Sanko rigged, Texas rig, weightless. And 3.3 feet of water. So it shouldn't take too long for this to sink. Not even a bite in either of those two lakes. Now it is early September, but still summer here. Good morning. I'm not sure how well you can see me. It's before dawn. But my name is Jerry. I'm a twin troller, boat owner, and a lifelong fisherman. And that's right. We're going fishing today. Well, what is this uh, video about? It's about fishing around current. Now, current can, can come from two different ways. Water going into a lake, water leaving a lake. In this case, we're at a place where water is leaving the lake. Not only is it leaving the lake, but it's leaving the lake quickly. The lock is open, the water is rushing,
That's a sinker mic. Now it is mid-October. It is early fall and fish are just starting to leave the open water and relating more to the shallows. Bait is schooling and moving baits are good again. Well, where are we today? We're on a lake. Uh, it's predicted to be five to 10 mile an hour winds. <laughs> I got here before dawn. It's well over five miles an hour now. Uh, it's probably over 10. This lake runs north-south. I'm on the south end of the lake and the wind is running out of the north. So it's running right down this lake and uh, nothing to slow it down. So it's picking up and my guess is later in the day it might get even worse, but that's okay. We're going fishing. We're going into the fall kind of uh earlier this week it was uh, 95 one day 91 the next day we're starting to get days that are in the 80s and uh the humidity is starting to drop the dew point is in the 60s it's much more comfortable than when the dew point is in the 70s that's when you really feel the humidity but let's go fishing see what happens and here comes a couple of boats through the channel leading to the lock. Since I don't have lights on my boat, I kind of hug this uh, Kissimmee grass edge where I can see where I'm going and uh, I can see where other people are and I have a place to kind of hide. Uh, it's almost getting uh, light out now. The time is 7.17 in the morning. Sunrise is 7.22, and in just a couple of minutes, we'll have sunrise. And the issue of no lights won't be an issue. Let's kind of fish. I'm going to try uh, fishing around this area here. Uh, the lock is, can't quite see it yet. It's likely open, and it's allowing water to shed out of here. So the water is coming from the main lake all the way down to here and creating a current right here where it's going all the way to the lock. And I'm trying to fish here where there's current. There's a fish. There's a fish. That's a good one too. <laughs> all right, about time. Oh. 
All right. Well, that changed things. Come on, come on, let go. There it goes. Definitely was not going to come off. So what did we catch that fish on? I caught him on a uh, titanium uh, spinnerbait. Um, it's a bluehead, uh, white, chartreuse, multicolored, uh, and there's a trailer hook. I got him really solid. And where did we get him? We got him along the outside edge of the Kissimmee grass. The wind's blowing in out of the north here and blowing everything up against this. Now, I got him um, a little ways, four feet maybe from the Kissimmee grass, so he's kind of on the outside edge. Maybe he's cruising down here looking for bait, like that's where I got him. And I got him the second it hit the water. So let's try it again. Oh, he was at least three pounds. Uh, but if this is springtime, that was a good sized fish. I don't know why it was so skinny, but out here, hopefully he's trying to feed up. We're starting to go into fall. Every single cast here could be uh, a, a very good fish. Could be 10 pounds. There are plenty of 10 pound fish in this lake. And seven eighths, nines. They're up there. Now, generally in the spring, you'd see more of the bigger fish. Because at that point, they're, the females are loaded with eggs. Um, they're, they've moved into shallow water. It's a little bit easier to uh, fish and locate them and uh, all that. Part of the reason why I'm trying to fish this edge is the wind's been blowing in on it, which would then push the uh, uh, zooplankton across the surface and... Uh, hopefully right up against this. And there we go, there's another fish. Ah, darn it. Oh, good. <laughs> that was a uh, chain prickle. I'm glad he came off. Hopefully you saw that. But they would tear up my bait. And uh, it's kind of messed up my skirt a little. Five times before he finally he's not very big but yeah, it's a nice little bugger well hello fish welcome aboard he's not a bad fish not bad not bad let's see how big you are 13 inches, 
That's a walker. I think I got a fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Come on up, buddy. Come on. There you go. Glad to see you. Where you been? That's not a bad little fish. Let's see, this one's 14 and three quarters, not bad, nice little fish. And I got him on that uh, white and chartreuse bait here that I just put on. I hope you enjoyed the day, caught some fish, not bad fish, that's okay. We're uh, getting into the fall here. I know some of you are putting your boats away already. Uh, I was just in the northeast, uh, close to the Canadian border. In the last couple of weeks, I know what it's starting to get like up there. We are going into, in central Florida, the best time of our year. This is when everybody from the north migrates to the south for vacations or their snowbirds and all that stuff because our weather is gorgeous from this point forward. Come April, May, it start, starts to get pretty hot. Uh, and this is the time of the year right now when it starts to get comfortable again. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you liked what I showed you, please uh, uh, give me a thumbs up. And thank you for following me on Lunker Fishing. Bye now. How do I get the boat back on the trailer? Back the trailer in and submerge the tip of the bunks. Tie a rope to the front of the twin trailer. Push the boat to behind the trailer. Pull the boat onto the trailer with the rope. Coil the rope into the boat. Pull and winch the boat all the way onto the trailer. <laughs>